So we're going to set up the front end for our new project. Right now I'm in an empty directory, so I'm going to create the project. It's going to be called Social Media Tutorial. We're going to CD into that. And it's going to be a full stack app. So let's make the, ser the folder for the server and the client. We're gonna work on front end today, so let's go into the client directory. And let's create a React app in this directory directory using npx create react app and the path. So it's just this folder path. And I'll see you when it's done. Alright, that was pretty fast. So let's open the project up in VS Code. And let's install our dependencies. So in this project, we're going to use styled components for our CSS. We're going to use React Query. And React Query is a library that is really, really useful when working with a backend server, um, a REST backend server. And you're going to see later on just how much time this library uh, saves us. And it's super useful. So I really recommend it. And we're going to use it for this tutorial. Style so components, React Query, and React Router. Um, V6 of React Router just came out. So before V6, you would just npm install React Router DOM. But now history is a codependency, and since it's pretty new, I guess you have to specify they're using six. So we're literally just gonna do this command right here. History at five and React router dom at six we're going to use react router to have some paths in our app because our app is going to be a single page application so just install that all right so let's delete some of this bloat right here we don't need any of this stuff we don't need any of this stuff And cool, so let's empty this stuff out right here. And this too. Oh, I don't know what I did. All right, we're good. So Let's get started up with styled components. Basically how styled components work is instead of how you normally would just use a class name and then a, you would use a CS file to like do dot app or whatever. Um, it basically just does that for you and we're going to see how that works right now. So let's create our project structure. We're going to have a components file and a styled file inside of that. Oh and a uh, hooks folder inst inside of our components directory because we're going to use some hooks later on in the series in our style directory let's just get started and create our styled component for our app div this is the convention to do that so usually just name it like the name of the component dot styled dot js so to create that you would have to import styled from style components and then how this works is you create a variable and call it the name of the component and then access the styled object and then here you just decide what element you want your styled component to be so we want it to be a div and then you attach some template literal um, back ticks to it and then whatever goes in here is the CSS for our styled component so we can go like body white right and you see, uh, not body, but like background color white. And you see how I got like CSS um, syntax highlighting? That's because I have an, an extension for that. It's called, um, let me see here. It's called VS Code Style Components. If you don't have this, you're not going to get the syntax highlighting. It'll just be a string like uh, brown for me. 
so I suggest that extension so yeah and then you export the variable so we can use it in here and then you go import you can rename it because it's a default export so import styled app from components dot styled or not dot slash what am I saying and then we just use that here cool so I'm gonna put hello world here so we can see how it looks later so we got our style app set up right how about a global style sheet you know we got a uh, index.css here and that works but that's not really style components so let's refactor Um, yeah, so we're gonna create a file here called globalstyles.js. We're gonna import create global style from style components. And creating a global style is just a little bit different, but kind of the same, almost the same. So we're gonna create a variable called global style. And you're gonna access this. And you don't specify an uh, animate because it's not really an animate, it's literally just a global style sheet. And export it. So we're going to copy over what create React app considers as the default style. And paste it in here. I don't like these fonts, so I'm just going to get rid of them. And yeah, and let's do something which is get every element in our app and default it to have a margin of zero. So less headaches for us. And we can literally just go ahead and delete this file now. We're good. And let's get a template literal in here. So then we can go like this. It's literally just like a component, but you just stick it in your app. Just like this and then it applies to everything in the app so now let's set up some theming because we want to have some CSS like it kind of works kind of like CSS variables where you put whatever you want in the theme and it's accessible in all the style components in the app so we're gonna create a themes.js file and we're gonna create an object our dark theme and we want let's start off with setting a body like this right and this is literally just an a javascript object with a body property that has a value of of a string with um hashtag one two one two one two so we want this property to be available in every styled component how do we do that? So style components uses something called a theme provider. It uses it's under the hood. It uses the React Context API. So to use it, we're gonna import theme provider from styled components, and it's literally just a component in it of itself, and it takes a theme prop. And that's where we would stick our object. So I think it's just gonna auto import for me. Or not. Okay. Oh. I don't know why I keep doing this. All right, cool. So we got our theme set up, right? And how do we access our theme? 
basically how it works is it passes the, the theme prop to every component every style component that is wrapped that is a children of the theme provider a child of the theme provider and you can pass props to a styled component and access it inside of it with this syntax so let's say i want the background color to be this property and as you can see we can do that because global style is a child of a theme of the theme provider so we go here and you access it by going into um, I, don't, I forgot what it's called but like this syntax to go into javascript inside of a uh, template literal string and then basically it gets the props get passed down and then you can access it inside of an arrow function so we would do props dot theme dot body so we have access to the props it gets passed down and we the theme is a property of the props object and then the body is in our theme but this is the s6 so we don't do that we go like this and that's pretty cool I don't know why it's giving me a problem. Okay, it turns out it was just having a bug. I don't understand what was going on, but I closed the file and I opened it again and it seems to be fine now. So I don't know what that was, but you can see here how we access the theme from the props, right? So our background color of our body is going to be this right here. So we got our, go our global style down. Our theme down now to wrap it all up we're going to use react router so we import browser router from react router dom and wrap our whole application with that And that's pretty much it. So we got all the boilerplate set up. Let's run it. Nice. So hello world in black. Let's change that. So we go here. Let's check it out. Right. So we got our global style sheet works fine. Everything works perfectly. What all this boilerplate we just did is available on my GitHub as a template. So you can literally just clone this repo and everything we just did is inside of this repo. If you want to skip this whole process, but you can just go through it with me so you can learn too. So yeah, next episode, we're going to set up the, the sign in page and all that. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.